it's great to see when you, you put in a lot of work and then you can implement it into a game situation and, and you just go out and do it. It's just in the flow of things. You're not forcing anything. You're not, not even thinking about it. You're just playing your game. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just playing my game. Uh, <laughs> nope, nope. Um, it's nothing to figure out for me. It's just uh, you go out, you see what the pace of the game is bringing, and then uh, you go out and, and you, figure, you figure it out on the fly. For me, I just um, I don't predetermine anything what I'm doing. You know, if the defense you know back up, I shoot. They get up on me, I drive. My teammates are open. I you know I create two on the ball. I find my teammates and. You know, the game flows that way. It flows for me that way. And, uh, you know, and I'm just in, a, in, that, in that comfort place, uh, uh, and, you know, right now where I can just go out and just play free. Have you ever been win this You get popped in the face and yeah. you don't contest the path and you just score seven points in the next 30 seconds. Oh, my God. Like, what, what's, what's That's happening? what happened. <laughs> Um, for me, anytime I get an opportunity to to make plays for our team, and uh, especially like tonight, we go on a run like that, it, it feels really good. LeBron, have you ever been in a shooting groove like this? I mean, pee wee ball or pick up ball or anything? The groove you've been in this week? I mean, if you look at the numbers, it says I haven't. So um, you know, you go by the numbers, I guess. Um, have I been in a groove where I felt like I can, you know, do so many things? Yeah, I felt that way, but. You know, as far as the you know the shooting percentage that I'm on, I mean the numbers numbers don't lie. So I guess I have it. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I mean, uh, you know, but whatever, it's cool. <laughs> what does it mean that Eric's giving you guys three days off and over five days, and just you know, how much does that help? I mean, it helps, but at the same time, you know, everyone is, is in here on off days, you know, either getting treatment or in the weight room or upstairs putting on shots. So, you know, we get, you know, he's giving us the day off, but we're, I mean, every guy, every guy has, has been in here each and every day off, um, either figuring out a way to, you know, keep their body up, um, or working on a game or, you know, getting strength and conditioning in the weight room. So it's a testament to our veteran ball club, guys getting better. You said earlier this season you had a vendetta against yourself. Is that kind of attitude of pushing yourself, challenging yourself? Is yeah, that I just yeah, I want to continue to push the button and um, you know continue to get better, um, maximize you know my potential, you know, and, and you know not waste the opportunity when I'm able to go out there on the floor. I just try to make things happen and uh, you know, but I want to continue to get better. I'm not satisfied and you know I work on my game each and every day, trying to figure out ways I can get better. Uh, both offensively and defensively, from the interior to the you know the exterior, or whatever the case may be. So, uh, you know, I try to do that. It's Thirty points and eleven shots. I don't sound like feasible, even though you just did it. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it happened. It happened, and uh, I, mean, I shot the ball very comfortable tonight. Um, you know, I was in the paint earlier, and then I moved out, so I had to paint the second half, but. I'm just trying to be aggressive. I got to the free throw line, uh, you know, again tonight. Um, and you know, when I wasn't able to get a shot, you know, either you know D Wade or Rio or Shane, you know, guys stepped up in, in the absence of Ray and CB, and we needed it. You've had two near perfect shooting nights this week. Is going an entire game and not missing a shot is that a goal of yours <laughs> or something that you you want to do? Well, um, I mean, well, I would love to do it. I mean, who wouldn't want to go a game without missing a shot? But. You know, I don't go in and saying, you know, putting pressure on myself, saying don't miss a shot, don't miss a shot. You know, I just go out and play. And the results of, you know, having a 12, uh, 13 for 14 or a 9 for 11 or whatever the case may be um, has happened. LeBron, comment about how D Wade's been looking. Like he's <laughs> but that's what it is. Um, you know, Thank each you. and every month, you know, coming off the knee surgery, you know, that this you know, last summer, he was getting healthier, you know, and he's you know, he spraying his back, he's dunking the balls. Um, you know, his, his jump shot, his pull-up jumper is feeling good, and um, he has a lot of bounce in his step right now. So um, I still don't think he's 100%. I don't think he thinks he's 100%, but, you know, he's close to it. He's getting there, and, um, you know, that's a good thing, you know, especially with, you know, February and March and then the spring coming around. Is, you know, that's the, the good thing for him. He's getting healthier, and um, he's showing that you know, you, out there on the floor. Can you break down exactly what that's going to do for you? If he gets, if he ever gets to the point where he's at 100%, how that's going to help you exactly? 
Well, I mean, it's a punch that, uh, I mean, that is going to be very good for our team and for me too. You know, um, you know, I think when D Way's at a hundred or, you know, let's sit here, let's not say a hundred because none of us, nobody in playoff or basketball, March, April can be a hundred percent. There's no way. Um, but when he's close to that, um, he's playing at a high level. Uh, I'm going to try to play at a high level. CB try to play at a high level. And then our team is going to make our team that much dangerous. Ron, uh, the Lakers won again tonight, seven and nine. I think you said earlier, you still see them as a dangerous team. But, yeah. Um, you know, you see now you're one of the hottest teams in the league coming out on Sunday. Well, I mean, anytime you have, uh, you know, great players, um, you can be dangerous, you know. They haven't been dangerous every night, but they can be dangerous. And, um, you know, with the ability of, of Kobe, of course, and Nash and, and Dwight, um, you know, the loss of Powell, you know, I think that hurts. But Earl Clark has been playing some, some great ball. I mean, we're not going to sit here. We, he will be on the scout report come Sunday. Um, you know, and guys are stepping up. Um, so uh, we look forward to the challenge. Uh, we understand they're going to come in trying to finish off their road trip on a high note. And, you know, we want to keep our momentum going. So, uh, It'll be a good one. Do you buy the idea of Kobe as a distributor? Do I buy that? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> he told y'all before, he's a scorer. He said it every day. I'm a scorer. This is what I do. So I don't buy the distributor. No. You guys buy it, though. I see how you all uh, Kobe, <laughs> 49 assists in four games, whatever. You guys are going crazy about that. I don't buy it, though. He's a scorer. He told y'all that. He told you that, for sure. What do you think?